Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy the Cake Monster token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step everything you have to do in order to buy this token. But before we get started here, I just want to remind everyone that I do have daily cryptocurrency content on my channel. So if you're interested in the space and you want to learn more about the space, I'd really recommend subscribing as I'll have lots of content coming out now and into the future. Anyhow, let's get started with this video here. So we're just going to open up our Trust Wallets to start off. And once we open up our trust wallets here, I'm just going to let you guys know I'm not going to show you how to create your trust wallet or how to buy or transfer BNB inside of this video here. If you need to learn how to do that, you, you have links in the description that you guys can go check out. It's basically just a link over to those certain videos if you need to learn how to do those things first. But you're going to want to make sure you have BNB inside of your trust wallet and you've obviously created your wallet. Another thing I want to point out as well is that if you have BNB inside of your BNB wallet right here, it's not going to show up in your balance on PancakeSwap. So you're going to want to make sure you click on your BNB be here click on swap and then swap it over to your smart chain wallet it has to be in your smart chain wallet to show in your balance so just be aware of that but once you have it in your smart chain wallet you're now good to go to the next step so we're just going to head over to coin market cap and i'll have a link in the description and comment section for coin market cap as well so you guys can just head over to that link there and then i'll show you what to do next once you're on coin market cap here all you have to do is go down to where you see contracts all the way over to the right you'll see the two squares there you want to go ahead and click on those two squares to copy the address once you have the address copied we then exit out of here right back into our trust wallet and we just want to go to the top right corner of our screen where we see the two lines and two circles and click on that once you click on that you want to go to the top search here and just paste that contract address in then you'll see the token pop up here so we can just click on it to enable it and then click on done once we have the token added inside of our trust wallets, we're now ready to go purchase the coin. So I'll have a link over to PancakeSwap in the description and in the comment section down below. So you guys can just head over to PancakeSwap and then I'll show you what to do next. And once you're on PancakeSwap here, we just want to go to the top right corner where we see the connect wallet button and click on connect wallet. Once you click on connect wallet, it's going to ask us a couple options here. So we're just going to go ahead and click on wallet connect. Once we click on Wallet Connect, we're going to see a couple different wallets that you can choose from. Now, you guys can use any one of these wallets if you would like to, but I'm going to be showing you with Trust Wallet. So we're going to go ahead and click on Trust Wallet. Once we click on that, it's going to open up this screen inside of our Trust Wallet, asking us to connect PancakeSwap to our wallet. The reason it wants to do this is because it wants to take our BNB and then convert it into the token and then place the token back inside of our Trust Wallet. So we're going to go click on Connect for this and then head right back over to PancakeSwap. Now, once we're back in PancakeSwap here, we'll know our wallet's connected when we see our wallet icon in the top right corner, as well as our balance of BNB right above BNB right here. Now, once you have that in here, all you have to do is click on select a currency, and you just want to paste that contract address right in this top search as well. We'll then see the token pop up here, so we just want to click on import, and then you guys can read this if you would like to, and then click on I understand once you're comfortable, and then click on import. Now, once you have that in here, all we have to do now is change the slippage tolerance. So if you just go beside exchange where you see this little settings gear, go ahead and click on that settings gear. Once you click on that, you want to go down to where you see swaps and liquidity. It'll say slippage tolerance right under that. Now for this token, I'd recommend starting off at 12%. You may be able to get away with a little bit lower and you may have to go a little bit higher. It totally depends on the liquidity at the very second that you're buying the token. So it fluctuates all the time, but a good standard, a good middle ground is 12% is what I've found from these tokens. So you can go ahead and try 12% first if you'd like, or of course you guys can try a bit, a little bit lower. Uh, anyhow, once you have your slippage tolerance inside of here, you can then exit out of here, and then you just have to decide how much BNB you want to transfer into this token. So let's just say, for example, I wanted to do one BNB, but then show me the amount I'll get in exchange for my one BNB. Now, if you're happy and comfortable with what you see here, you can go ahead and click on swap where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. Once you guys click on swap, it's going to show you a broken down version of your transaction, showing you your fees that are involved with this transaction. So just make sure you guys take the time to read and understand that first. If you have any questions about that, just leave it in the comments down below. I'll be happy to try to get back to you and explain a little bit better if need be. Uh, but if you guys are happy with what you see in your breakdown there, you can go ahead and click on swap. It's then going to give you another transaction notice inside of Trust Wallet, just breaking it down really quickly again. So you can go ahead and click on accept or swap for that. Once you guys click on that, it's then going to give you a successful transaction notice. Once you receive that notice, we can then head back over to our Trust Wallet and the token will arrive here usually within a couple minutes. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out, showing you guys how to buy the Cake Monster token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.